thank you for purchasing this Sojag product, which you'll enjoy all year long. If you need additional instructions, please don't hesitate to contact our customer service line at 1-855-659-4402. Replacement parts are always available, so please don't return the product. If a part breaks or is missing, simply order a replacement part using the part number on the gazebo. It's important to anchor the gazebo to the ground as soon as the installation is complete, making sure it's well squared to keep it from moving or becoming damaged in strong winds. Use Tapcon screws for concrete surfaces and wood screws for wood surfaces. Anchoring hardware is not included. The installation should be done by a minimum of two people. Be sure to install it on a level surface. Open the boxes and carefully unpack all the parts. Group the parts together by type and place them on the lawn or on a blanket to avoid damaging them. Make sure you have all the parts and that they are in good condition before starting the installation. You're now ready to begin. Attach a base M1 to the bottom of each column A using the screws V. Join parts B to parts B1 using the union bars D and screws V. Next, join parts C to parts C1, again using the union bars D and screws V. Screw a column A to the ends of the short track C using screws U on the inside of the track. Repeat for the long tracks B. Use screws X on the outside of the tracks.
Insert 8 hooks Q into the slot under each rail B2A and B2B, with the hooks facing inwards. Insert 6 hooks Q into the slot under each rail C2A and C2B, again with the hooks facing inwards. Attach the rails to the inside of the tracks B and C using screws V. Install the corner covers W at each corner using screws Y. Install the joint covers W1 at the middle of the tracks C and B using the screws V and Y. Attach the corner solidifying bars L1 and L2 to each corner of the structure using screws V. On the inside of the structure, attach the gap cover bars F1, F2, F3 and F4 to the upper part of the tracks using the screws V. Attach the roof bars E to the inside roof connector K1 using screws V.
place the roof structure on top of the tracks. Screw the roof bars E to the columns A using screws V. Attach the roof bars E1 to the inside roof connector K1 using the screws V. Screw the roof bars E1 to the tracks B and C using the screws V. Attach the middle of a contour bar R1 to the inside of the roof bar E1 using a screw V. Then attach the middle of a contour bar R2 to the inside of the roof bar E1 on the next side of the gazebo, also using a screw V. Cover the bars at each corner using the finishing ends M2 and screws V. Unpack the small roof panels P, P1, P2, P3, and P4. Attach the metal brackets D1 and R to the roof panels. Refer to the illustrations in the instruction manual for the quantity and location. For this step, you can either place the roof panels on the structure and then place the small roof bars J and J1 as seen in the manual, or you can insert the roof panels into the small roof bars J and J1 and then place them all at once on the structure as shown here. To hold in the small roof panels, Attach the middle of a small roof bar J1 to the outside of a roof bar E1 using a screw V.
Then, attach the middle of a small bar J on the next side of the gazebo, also using a screw V. Again, cover the bars at each corner using the finishing ends M2 and screws V. Attach the outside roof connector K to the inside roof connector K1 using the two hooks WA and a screw U. From the inside of the sun shelter, attach the solidifying bars H and I to the roof bars, using the brackets M3 and M4 and the screws V. Attach the metal brackets D1, D2, and R to the larger roof panels. Refer to the illustrations in step 13 of the instruction manual for the quantity and location. Starting on the left side of each section, place the roof panels on the roof. Screw the roof panels to the structure using the screws S, T, U1, and X1. Do not completely tighten the screws at this point, in order to have enough space to properly align all the roof panels. Overlap the roof panels as shown in the manual. Screw the center roof panels using the screws S, except for the middle where a screw U1 must be used. Once all the roof panels are installed, go back around the structure and tighten all the screws.
Attach the small mosquito net ZS to the inside of the roof opening using the Velcro attachments. Please note that when the small mosquito net is installed, the hook's WA cannot be used. One side of each mosquito net is longer. Be sure to install them so that the zippers meet at the middle of each side. Hang the mosquito nets on the previously installed hooks. Locate the strap and metal hook at the seam of the mosquito net. The strap and hook must face outwards so as to hook into the hole in each column. These hooks will secure the nets to the structure. Congratulations! You're now ready to enjoy your SoJag Sun Shelter. <laughs>